what's up guys welcome back to another XCT video and today I'm bringing you a chest workout and as you can see from the title of the video it is called full range of motion chest workout because I taken the idea for a previous video from actually a comment from a subscriber when I do the exercises I do them full range of motion and that's true to be honest I always do all my exercises full range of motion. I'm a big fan of this technique. It's like the proper way to do the exercises. So I decided to name this series full range of motion. Actually, I'm going to show you all my workouts through the week, but I'm going to focus more on this full range of motion movement. So to continue on with the video, I will answer to some questions on my previous video and I hope that you guys have enjoyed my previous video when I talk about uh, why you should not focus about your apps so if you haven't checked that video go and check it out it is very useful for anyone that is under 20% body fat and I'm gonna say it again on this video if you are under 20% body fat then what you need to do is to try and gain as more muscle mass as possible so this is what i want you guys to do uh, don't care about your abs just try to gain as more muscle as possible and let's continue on with the first question over here which i'm gonna put on the screen right now so what can i do to do more pull-ups just training pull-ups or maybe something else hey, this is a very good question because i know many people they cannot do pull-ups so what i suggest you to do if you want to do more pull-ups to increase your strength then what you need to do is to slow down your repetitions and uh, because as you saw from my previous videos of mine that i was doing back i always do my exercises very slow so if you want to increase the number of pull-ups that you want to do then what i suggest you to do is to decrease the tempo this is what i mean and for the very beginners out there which cannot do any pull-ups what i suggest you to do is to use your foot to jump on the top of the bar and then focus on the negative movement so you're going to use your foot to jump on the top and then focus on the negative movement so if you cannot do any pull-ups this is a very good technique i'm going to make a video to show you guys how to make pull-ups so continuing on with the next question over here is it okay if i use creatine after dinner i'm 19 yeah so uh, for the age i always recommend to anybody to use supplements if you are over 18 years old i don't really recommend to anyone to use any any supplements under 18 years old if you want to use supplements if you, and you are under 18 years old then I suggest you to go for a just whey protein nothing else you don't need really anything else so to answer this question creatine it is best to be taken after a workout and the reason guys I recommend you to take creatine after a post workout is because your muscles are completely depleted and they absorb nutrients much faster so what I suggest you to do is to throw creatine among with protein and carbs after a post workout this is the best time to take uh, the creatine thank you all guys for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed and as you know i upload videos every monday and exams are coming for me in two weeks i'm gonna start exams and i'm not sure if i'm going to continue the youtube videos but i'm gonna try my best to upload videos every monday so if you enjoy this video guys please drop a like because it really helps me a lot and see you again i hope so next monday You are doing these diets you know these low low carbs diets low calorie diets if you are on a calorie deficit for you are on a catabolic mode and for sure you are going to lose muscle mass and of course you are going also to lose um, body fat that's for sure and the advice that i want to give you guys is that anyone